Which of the following would be valid reasons for having some roommates pay a larger share of the cost than others? So we need reasons why someone would pay more. Let's look at choice B, which is correct. The bedroom sizes are different. Now think about it. Would you rather live in bedroom one, which is very small, or live in bedroom two, which is very large? Most people like that extra comfort to have the extra space. So this is definitely a valid reason and the person with more space would pay more. So this is choice B. And let's look at choice D. One roommate works from home and has taken over the den for their office space. So here's the den and one person has literally claimed it as theirs, their space. They're actually using this shared space as their space. So when people use more space for their own work, they should pay more. It's definitely a valid reason. E is also a correct choice. The roommate in bedroom three has taken over the washroom right, well, right across the hallway, right here. This is their washroom. So whenever people claim this supposed shared space as theirs, certainly we can charge this person a bit more. Let's look at why choice A is a bit unreasonable. No one uses the storage room. This has no effect on who should pay more than the other person. C, one roommate spends more money on food Spending money on food has nothing to do with how much someone should pay for being a roommate. Another example is if you decide to buy a very expensive iPhone 12 Pro, does that mean that your rent should go up or down? It has no relevance.